Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. <laughs> but first, cat hair, coffee. In my Dollar Tree snowman mug. I love this mug, guys. Mm, I have creme brulee today. Hi, Alex. What's up? Hi, buddy. Oh, I have both cats. Here's Wellington. They like it when I'm talking. Say hi, baby. <laughs> and Alex is over there. All right. We have a Dollar Tree haul. Nothing too fantabulous, but some fun finds nonetheless. So let us get started. I'm just pulling some things over. Some Christmas ideas, some not Christmas ideas, like mushrooms. Not Christmas ideas. Actually, I bought some roast beef or roast beast if you're a fan of the Grinch, and some keto bread that I've been making like a Philly cheesesteak situation. So I grabbed some mushrooms for that. Now I, whoa, my fire's going behind me. I picked up a few things um, for a three-year-old. We're having a socially distant work lunch next weekend, and one of my coworkers is bringing her three-year-old. Hey, Brecken. And so I grabbed a few things for him to have while we're at the table. So I got him some preschool crayons. This is Play School brand, and he'll get 10 chunky crayons. I got him a Paw Patrol coloring book because I thought that would be fun at the table. And I like that it's, you know, pretty big. This is preschool size, but they're nice chunky pictures for him. So I grabbed him that. And then I found the Jurassic World color forms. And if you've never done these, you get this big plastic coated card and lots of little, um, they're like window clings. And you can, um, oh, and it's reversible. So you get three scenes and then all these dinosaurs and you can readjust them. They're not stickers, they're clings. So they stick to the plastic and then you can pull them off and move them around. And I thought that would be super fun for him to do while we're all sitting at the table. I'll bring him some other things too, but I picked up those in the Dollar Tree. And while we're on crafty bits, I think that might be most of the crafty bits. I found, I'm sorry, what is this? Spin art, come on guys, at the Dollar Tree. Do you remember this from the fair or the carnival when you were little? Because I sure do. I opened one, I picked up two. And this is, I'll show you what it comes with. Then I'm thinking you may need some more paint because I don't know if this is going to be enough, but okay. So you just get these three little paints, red, blue, and yellow, but I'm feeling like any really paint will work. And then you get these little cards and I don't know how many of these you get. It doesn't say eight. You get eight sheets and then you get this tray, right? And I was like, well, how am I supposed to spin it and blah? Girl, it's a winder. So, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but you put your card on here, and then this thing over here, you just, I mean, honestly, you can go back and forth, but you can go either either direction, right? Oh, it's not down in there. And it spins it for you, and then you drop the paint on it, or you can drop the paint and spin it. How fun is this? I just think this is a lot of fun, and for $1, Please get two kits, get 10. I don't know, I thought it was fun. We're gonna try it someday and I'll pass the other one off to some friends. So I grabbed two of these spin arts cause I wanted to do one for me and one to pass on. So I grabbed those, $1. And these were in the to Christmas like toy area. Excuse me, sir. I picked up a set of these mini solo cups. I think I saw on TikTok, or somebody sent me a TikTok, so I don't have TikTok, but um, using these for Christmas lights, but I also thought they would be great for painting. So I just picked up a set, because they're cute. And they are 22 little generic red Solo cups. How fun, right? And I'm always using little plastic things, and I can rinse those out, nothing that I have to keep. I finally found one of these gift sacks. We're gonna open it. I am using this. I think we're opening it. I don't wanna tear it. I'm not tearing my teeth. It's just a little piece of plastic. 
Okay, it's the fabric of probably one of their reusable bags, but it is gigantic. And I am filling this up with gifts. <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, on Christmas Eve, I think my brother and his wife are coming here to do some Christmas. And then I'm going with Sarah to her house where her mom and stepdad and brother are coming. And so I like to bag up gifts that are going away in a bag, in a specific bag. And then all I have to do is take that bag with me when I go. And it's already sorted and I don't forget anything. And I probably should have got more than one, but I think this is sufficient. Most likely Sarah's gifts will go in here because she has the most. And this one says, I think it says, believe in the magic of Christmas. Yeah, believe in the magic of Christmas. It's, I mean, it's sturdy enough. And if you don't have a lot of gifts, buy it, stuff it with a pillow and tie it up under your tree. The only thing I wish is that it had a flat bottom because it does not, but I'll make it work. But like I said, I just like to have all the gifts together while I'm wrapping them. And that way I don't have to keep crawling under my tree. I don't have to keep finding stuff. So right now it's a mess under here, but after I record this, I will sort the gifts, put all of Sarah's in that bag. I found another Bob Ross bit, um, puzzle that I don't have. Oh, I'm so excited to put one of these together. And I saw on the back, these are 11 by 14. I'm still gonna frame one. Isn't that pretty? And this one is called Deep Forest Lake. So they're all named. And I did wrap one up as a present for my brother. <laughs> so I grabbed that one that I found. Um, I found this game called Escape Room The Game Challenge. Now it says it's for ages 16 and up. One to four players. So it's something you could do on your own. 2 million units of the base game sold. And it's a, I guess it's a card game. I don't want to open it because we're going to do this. You get 24 cards, an answer decoder, and an instruction card. And it's like an escape room. I just thought that might be fun to play. We're going to do cousin game night with the teenagers. And I think we'll have fun with that. So I don't want to open it because I think that, you know, I'll take it with me. Um, please don't fret, but I found the coffee pens. So that is coffee beans. This one just says coffee, coffee, coffee. And that one is cups of coffee. And hello. I don't even care if these write good. I don't. They were in the Christmas gift section. It is a green briar. I'm on the hunt for the notepad that has the coffee on it too. Because I like coffee, right? And I needed these pens in my life and I found them. I'm excited. I picked up one skein of yarn. I'm gonna tell you, this yarn is not bad. Would I make a sweater out of it? No, but will I craft with it? Absolutely. It's softer than red heart yarn that you get at the craft store. I'm just saying. Um, it's acrylic, whatever. But I bought this for a specific craft that I'm gonna be doing. So I just got the brown in the worst did. I wanted chunky, but it didn't come in brown. That's the one thing you're limited on is they don't have a ton of colors, but it's yarn. If you want to learn to knit or crochet, crochet a scarf out of this, it would be super soft. There is no shame in this yarn. So I grabbed that. Um, I picked up this North Pole Tree Farm. Now, technically, this is a gift card holder, but that's not what I use it for. I use these with my knitting and projects. Like if I'm knitting, I put stitch markers in here in my project bag. Maybe I put my tape measure, different little items. If I'm doing cross stitch, I may put extra needles in here or some floss. And I throw these containers in my project bag so I have everything that I need with me. And I love that it's festive. But you can also just use it for a gift card. I mean, that's what it's for, right? But that's not what I'm using it for. I love to use these with my crafts or, or with my like craft bags, depending on what you're doing. So I grabbed that. It's getting warm in here, guys, where I'm seated, where I'm seated. I found the Rudolph lip balm. We're going to try it here in a second. They had a few of these at my store. These are absolutely, for those of you who are questioning, this is absolutely from the Target dollar spot. That is their tag. Probably last year's Christmas, if I had to remember that this was a theme. Um, I don't 
I don't need chapstick in my life, but this is candy cane. And I do love peppermint chapstick. Ooh, I think I just broke a nail. Did I? Hope not. Um, so I'm opening it. We're opening it. So it's like, um, it mimics the EOS lip balms, right? It's a little ball. Here's the thing. I do not like EOS. It dries out my lips, but we're going to try this. That's why I stick with chapstick and Burt's Bees. So we're unscrewing it. Smells like peppermint. It's red. Feels soft. Mm. It has a little feel of peppermint to it. I mean, I definitely can tell that it's a peppermint lip balm. But I will tell you, if you want real peppermint, get the peppermint um, chapstick brand. Oh, I love it. And my lid doesn't want to go on and off. Is this worth a buck? Sure. Is it fun? Yes. Will it keep keep your kids using their chapstick if they need to? Okay, it's stuck. Well, whatever. I'll figure it out. It feels nice, though. It feels very moisturizing, which is good because the EOS does not. Um beeswax. I don't know. A lot of words I can't pronounce. How about that? Um, I'm, now I have trash, guys. Okay, here we go. More stuff. I picked this up for a stocking stuffer for Sarah. She loves hair masks. This is L'Oreal Paris Everpure. I know these are more than a dollar. This is a sheet mask. So in the shower, you wash your hair, you put this on, you wash your body, and when you're done, you take this off and rinse your hair. Yeah, and this is chamomilla flower, and this is a hair sheet mask steam treatment for intense repair. She colors her hair, so I think she will appreciate that. And this is a straight up name brand. I can guarantee you that this is not a dollar at CVS or anywhere else. And then the directions obviously are on the back. They had all different ones. I don't need anything like that, and you'll see why in a moment. Again, for Sarah Sykes, I got her these Take Note felt tip pens. They're erasable or washable. They're washable. Vivid Color Bold Lines. This is a blue and a purple, I think. Yeah, I think that's purple, but they're Crayola brand. I know she likes them, and when she teaches, she likes to have colorful pens for her um, stuff. Planner. We're going to try this at some point. Smooth writing, bright color, easy to clean glass pen. What the heck is this? I passed on it the first time I saw it because I said, so that just looks like a hot mess. But then I saw somebody else haul it and I'm like, fine, I'll get it. <laughs> this is in the blue. No directions. Just want to throw that out there. There are no directions on this thing on how to use it. So we're gonna, we're not gonna do it right this second, but I am gonna open it. I'm wondering if it's like an old fashioned quill pen that you just dip it in the ink. Yeah, not opening the ink, I can tell you that. Okay, oh neat, this is actually glass. And it has a rubber, okay, okay, okay. So it is like a quill pen. You must dip it in the ink because there's no other way to, I mean, this is one solid piece of glass. You must just dip it in the ink and write. We're going to try this. I'll do a video. Not today, but I'm putting that back on the tip. So you get that and it is glass and then you get a glass bottle with, this has blue ink. And they had all different colored ones. I'm not going to tell you that I would buy this for any child for Christmas because this just screams stained carpet to me. That's what that says. This whole bottle just says, girl, Stanley Steamer's coming to your house if you let a child have that. And they probably won't get it up. So my two cents, take it for what it's worth. You do you and get your kids what you want. I'm just saying there is no way in Hades any child is using that in my house. Just saying like I have any children to use it in my house because I don't. Okay, I found the Star Wars Metal Earth 3D. I was making fire noises. 
Um, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle Metal Puzzle. Now, I know a lot of people have been hauling these and it says no glue is required, no soldering. It must just snap together. I saw on Jay Morell's channel when she was Christmas shopping at Hobby Lobby, she picked her kids up some of these puzzles, not Star Wars. So not even licensed and they were $15, probably 40% off, but still not one shiny dollar. So I got this, I'll gift it to somebody. I don't know what age, oh, 14 and plus. So I'll gift it to somebody that I think will put it together, but I wanted to show you. Now I know somebody else was buying three packs or four packs for a dollar. I'm thinking that's how they were shipped because these were seriously one for a dollar, which makes sense to me, but whatever. And oh, and there's also a um, 360 degree view. So you can go on and there's a QWERTY code and you can see how to put it together. So that I thought was super fun, right? Because that's a fun toy or gift for the teenager who loves Star Wars. Any teenager that's in love with Star Wars will enjoy that. I'm getting this stuff away from the fire because my chocolate's gonna melt. I have a couple more gifts to put together. So I grabbed another um, caramel chocolate Santa from Russell Stover. These are great. Everybody seems to like them that I gift them to. Um, you get four caramel Santas. So I grabbed that. I grabbed some Ferro Rocher for Sarah. Um, I grabbed a, it's a four pack, but I already gave one away of, of the German chocolates. I said it was okay. It's just cute. And one more of the Junior Mint Peppermint Candy Cane Crunch, because I think those are fun. So I have my gift bags I already did and I needed one more. So I just picked up a little more candy for that person. I picked up two of these. And I'm gonna tell you, these things smell delicious. Cinnamon brooms. I'm putting one in my car for sure. And I'm putting one here in the house. But through the bag, these are pretty potent. Mm, I love it. And I love the smell of cinnamon. So I grabbed two of them. Like my hands even smell now just from touching these bags. So if you're allergic to cinnamon or don't like cinnamon, steer clear because these are very strong. I'm assuming it's like a cinnamon oil that they have infused that with, if I had to guess. I picked up two of these cello wraps. I feel like these are out all year round. This is clear. It is 30 inches by 72 inches. And these are great. I know they sell the gift bag, like the basket cello bags, but I'm wrapping some things that are smaller, like mugs that need to be cello wrapped and they don't fit in the bag and they're too small for the other. So this is how we're going. So I grabbed two because I need to cut up a lot of that for some gift wrapping. Um, and those work out great. I've had them for years. I mean, they're the same ones. Um, I found the Smart Care Fisher Price. They're baby wipes, but these are 99% water. And I don't have a baby, but I use these in my craft room when I'm messy crafting, i.e. messing around with ink or painting or gluing. I keep, I keep some of these on my um, craft station because they're very handy to just grab and wipe and clean up messes and things. So I picked up a pack of those. Um, for a buck, you can't beat it. And when there's something messy that would ruin my towels or ruin furniture and stuff, I like to have something quick on hand and they're water. So I thought those were fantastic for one shiny dollar. Oh, sorry. Um, I found another SGX NYC Salon Graphic So Whipped Mousse. This is hair mousse. I use mousse every day that I do my hair. I grabbed two of these for me. Um, and this goes at Walmart Target, $8, $9. So I'm assuming they're going through a repackaging. So, you know, like something. Somebody said the mousse smelled good too. Oh, it does. It smells nice. Um, so I grabbed two. These are for me because this is what I use for my hair. I use mousse every day and I loved it. And I thought, Hey, if it's not great, that's okay. It was a dollar. Right? Right. Um, to make my little mugs that I'm doing, I picked up this deck. Uh, 
It says decorative shred. Now, if you just want plain colors, you get twice as much, but I really wanted some of the shiny and I didn't need a whole big bunch. So I grabbed two bags. And this is shiny red foil paper and white shred for gift baskets and things. It's very messy. So I only put it in gifts that are going to be open somewhere else. I'm kidding. Maybe. All right. Should we do our, what's wrong with my coloring here all of a sudden? Did you notice that? Thumbnail. I can do that now. I don't know. Um, got just a couple more things here for you. This is so exciting. Said nobody ever. Just some cotton balls. I was out. Nail polish. I use them all the time. I like the cotton rounds as well, but the cotton balls are fine. I didn't see the rounds at my store. So I grabbed the balls. It's fine. Works for nail polish. Nothing exciting. Uh, I mean, it might even be cheaper to get these somewhere else, but the convenience factor was I was there. I saw them. I picked them up because I needed them. And then I found, and I'm so excited I did, these little boxes. I love the industrial of this metal. Now, that sign that says Adventure is Calling is painted on this box. But if you can see up in there, if you wanted to change it out, measure it, print out something else, and slide it down in there. I mean, you could even use these in your craft room, like on top of a shelf that say, what's in the shelf? Now I picked up three. It says, don't quit your daydream. Life is meant to be lived and adventure awaits because I want to put a trio of these probably in my kitchen. And I may put up a, something that just says something different, but I liked these. And I love that they're that woody, but you can also do something on the back, put a clip, they can sit, you can, you know, all the things, right? All the things. So I grabbed three because I like things in the odd numbers when I'm doing like a decor display situation. I like that. Then the last thing I picked up, and again, this is name brand. This is not Dollar Tree. This is um, Desange Paris. And they sell these exact ones at Walmart for seven, six eighty eight, I think, but they're hair masks. So I grabbed this one. And this is Nutrition Elixir Deep Nourishing System Mask with Sacha Inchi Oil. And this is for dry hair, and I have very dry hair. So I got it for me, and let's see if I can, ooh. Mm, it smells nice, it's kind of a pink color, and it's just a hair mask. So in the shower, put it on, you leave it on for five, 10 minutes, unless you wanna do like a deep mask, and then I would put it on and walk around your house watch some tv and go back so i grabbed two of those and then i picked up this one which is purifying clay and it's a balancing system pre-shampoo mask so you put this on before you shampoo for oily roots and unbalanced scalp and again this is the same company and i saw these on the walmart website these should get a little brush applicator and it's clay and it smells like dirt and you put this on your hair and scalp let it sit and then you wash it so that was pretty cool i got two of each i don't i do not have oily hair so i won't be using this i think i'll give these to sarah because she she has a little different hair texture than i do um or i asked one of my co-workers i thought maybe she would enjoy trying one so i grabbed two of those and then all day, every day, I will use these because I have, I have dry hair. I don't color treat my hair anymore. I don't, um, I do blow dry and I use product in my hair like every other day. I do not wash my hair every day because it's that dry. So now that you know, I don't wash my hair every day. <laughs> Today's the day I did not wash it. All right, that is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree this week. So I hope you enjoy and when you see this, one more week till Christmas. I love Christmas. I hope you do too. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And I will talk with you later.